Welcome back sandwiches to another video. In our last video we proved that this solar panel which goes with the Solar X Miner was not adequate to keep it charged and going 24-7. So what we did then was we switched to the mains charger but in this video I'm going to show you how we can switch to a larger solar panel like that. Let's go. So the way we can do that is quite simple. So if you've got your own solar panel, you'll no doubt have it coming into some kind of a charge controller like this. The charge controller will then go and charge your batteries. So those are all batteries right there. From the batteries, we're gonna to go to the inverter. Now this is a 12 volt to 240 volt inverter. So from the inverter, we're gonna be going to an extension lead like this. And in there is where we plug our mains charger for the Solar X Miner, as simple as that. So here's our Solar X Miner. As you can see, it's charged around about 98%, so it's working perfectly well off the inverter using our own solar panels. So one thing to note is obviously the mains charger is going to be plugged into the inverter at all times. What you can do is introduce a timer in between the inverter and the Solar X mains charger, such as a hive plug or something like that, and therefore you can then time charging the battery on the Solar X Miner so it's not on 24 seven. Because there's a built-in battery, you want it to run some of the time, possibly overnight, on its own battery, so it preserves the battery. Otherwise, you'd be just having this on charge all the time, and you probably damage the battery long-term. So there you go, savages. If your solar panel that comes with the Solar X Miner is underperforming, this is how you can use your own solar panels to charge and run the Solar X Miner. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And I'll see you savages on the next one.